Sunday's devotion is found in the Upper Room Discipline, written by Scott Haldeman. Our scripture reading is Luke 18, 1-8. And then Jesus told them a parable about their need to pray always and to not lose heart. He said, In a certain city there was a judge who neither feared God nor had the respect for people. And in that city there was a widow who kept coming to him and saying, Grant me justice against my opponent. And for a while he refused, but later he said to himself, Though I have no fear of God and no respect for anyone, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will grant her justice, so that she may not wear me out by continually coming. And the Lord said, Listen to what the just said, judge says. And will not God grant justice to his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night? Will he delay long in helping them? I tell you, he will quickly grant justice to them. And yet, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Now that we've looked at our lazy, stubborn judge, let's consider the widow. All we know is that she's relentless. Convinced of the merits of her case, again, a case about which we know actually know nothing, she returns again and again to this judge on whom she is forced to depend. Maybe this time, maybe next. We know this woman too, do we not? Our mothers and grandmothers who kept food on the table and a roof over our heads even when they seemed to have no resources. Those like Harriet Tubman, who refused to remain safely free while others toiled in bondage. Like those, those like the suffragettes who claimed women's full citizenship and equality, including the right to vote. Or those like Rosa Parks, who have challenged unjust laws. Or those like Stacey Abrams, who continue the struggle still against voter suppression so that our democracy works for all citizens. The mothers of the disappeared and the incarcerated, and those killed by state-sanctioned br police brutality too, and so many more, most of them nameless. They refuse simple comfort. They want to be heard. They want the particular injustice to be acknowledged and rectified. Say her name. Just so. In Ramah, wailing and loud lamentation, Rachel, weeping for her children, she refused to be consoled because they are no more. We need to pray always and not lose heart. So that's what we try to do. The question is this, for what and for whom do we summon the tenacity and the resilience to cry continuously? to act strategically, to petition effectively both divine and earthly powers. Let us pray. A Lord who comforts the dissolute, disconsolate, we give thanks that you hear and respond to our cries. Send down justice, send down mercy, and repair our broken hearts. Amen. Our closing hymn is, It's Me, It's Me, O oh Lord. to you all.